A little bit of France is coming to Connecticut. An historic 25-acre former cattle farm in Killingworth is getting a new life now as a lavender farm. It's called Lavender Pond Farm, and it opens up this spring. Chris and Denise Salafia will soon see the fruits of their labors. They are tonight's guests on Nyberg. The property had originally been a cattle farm in its, in its earliest days, and then it had lost its farmland designation and, and moved to residential. So we knew we wanted to get back to, to farming. This is a drone shot of Correct. your mm -hmm. farm. It's beautifully laid Thanks. out. Okay, how'd you do it? Everything that we're doing, we're trying to do pure and, do, and doing it the right way. So the stuff is, the stuff is hand sewn in our farm and we'll be harvesting 9,000 plants is going to give off uh, not only a lovely aroma but quite a bit of, of sachets and bundles and, and things so people can come to the farm, buy the plants, um, buy product from us. We hope to have a, what they call you pick where you and your family can come onto our fields and literally we'll get some clipping shear in our store and walk out on the farms and clip your own lavender. I really want it to be a, an oasis where people can come and just walk through the fields. And, and I was really pretty particular about laying out the beds um, to make sure that it didn't have a commercial feel at all and that you could just, you know, stroll through the fields and the wide pathways in between and just different vistas. Really does sound nice, doesn't it? The Salafias are new to farming, but they're teaching their two young sons what life on the farm is like, and you're invited to come see them this summer. For the rest of that interview, just head over to WTNH.com and click on Nyberg. Oh, and I just love the smell of lavender. Yeah, that should be really cool. So good. Yeah. Well, time